Today I will be providing an update on the sand saver installation at the Swahili Beach Resort in Diani Beach, Kenya, on the eastern coast of Africa on the Indian Ocean. Let's take a brief recap of what happened in part one, the first video. Before the sand savers were installed, the Swahili Beach Resort was experiencing massive amounts of beach erosion issues. As you can see in the clips, as the tide was coming in, the beach suffered sand loss, ultimately threatening the beach. On January 12, 2020, the sand saver modules were lined up into position on the Indian Ocean to function as a beach erosion solution, with the larger opening of the modules facing the ocean, while the tapered opening faced the beach side of the installation. This allows for the sand to settle on the beach side of the modules as the tide retreats back into the ocean, thus eventually completely burying the modules in the sand, while accreting sand both behind and in front of the modules. Once the modules have been lined up into position, they were strapped together and then filled with sand. Typically, the units would have been filled with concrete. However, due to the lack of heavy equipment and limited access to the beach, it was decided to fill the units with sand. Once the units are strapped together and filled with sand, it becomes a waiting game for the tides to come and go, depositing sand on the beach side of the modules. So this is what the units look like approximately 12 hours after installation. Now here is the sand saver system two weeks after installation. In the first two weeks since the installation, the system had accreted approximately 3,500 cubic yards of sand while increasing the width profile of the beach up to 75 feet in some areas of the beach. This update takes place approximately six weeks after the original January installation date. After six weeks, these updated videos show the units now being over 60% covered on both sides of the modules with generous sand accumulation, creating a nice gentle slope on the beach. It is estimated that approximately 20,000 cubic yards of sand has been accumulated in the six weeks since the sand savers were installed. Take a look at this overhead shot from the day after installation. And compare to this recent clip taken only six weeks since the installation occurred. Let's see the two videos side by side from above. Notice the increasing width of the beach that has now added over 100 feet of profile since the sand saver installation in January of this year. Because of Diani Beach's location in the Earth's equatorial region, between 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south latitudes, the trade winds greatly affect the tides. The settlement of sand in the south end of the system should increase as these winds start shifting through the upcoming months. It will be exciting to see the continued accretion of sand in the coming weeks and months as the trade winds shift and the south end of the system starts accumulating and burying the modules. For more information, please visit www.sandsaver.com and www.grangerplastics.com for more information and details.